So the primer has been put on the flying machine um, and I've sanded it so that's why you can see these little blemishes but basically it's ready to go with paint. Um, I might put one more coat of primer on it and then wet sand it to get it to a nice smooth surface if that's what you want um, and then go ahead and paint it with the final color choice that you want. Uh, you also notice that I have covered that wooden section with masking tape so that no paint gets on there because I do want to give that a nice stain color. Um, the, the rivets are really popping really good. I'm really happy with them. Um, and I think if you use the method that I showed you previously, I think you'll agree that the, the rivets turn out really nice. So um, the next time you see this rocket, it's going to be painted up really nice. Um, and we can put the, the decals on and do the, the last of the prepping, which is basically at this point, it's just a parachute. Okay, we've painted the uh, flying machine. Um, and I've got a silver paint on it and I like it. Um, it's pretty much done as far as uh, the paint goes. Um, the rivets really stand out along with the ornamental pattern all over the rocket and I'm really liking it. Um, our next step is to put the stain on the balsa wood and this is always the uh, fun part whenever you're removing tape you never know what's going to look like underneath. I can find an end. Ah, come on. There we go. All right. It looks pretty cool just like that. I like that color. But I'm going to chose I've chosen a darker stain for that wood. Um, I'm just going to put tape over my rivets here just to make clean up a little easier. Ah, not so good, not so good. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get the uh, stain on there. Um, this is a dark wood stain. Really nice and dark. Yeah, put some gloves on. I'll just be careful painting it on. Have some paper towels handy. Okay. So I'm just going to paint it on and uh, next time you see the rocket, this will be dry. Um, it says you can use up to three coats uh, depending on how dark you want it to be. Um, I'll see what it looks like. It will surprise you. Everything is dry now on the flying machine and our last step is to put on the stickers. And these are uh, pre-cut. So you have to get the edge, just lift them off, and put them down where you want them to go. These little yellow ones are the pore holes. Ooh, I like that color.
Gives it a nice little gold look to it. Can't get the edge. There we go. Very cool. So it looks like I like it. And then you can put your uh, Strap on booster pods on. And one. Everything always wants to come apart. machine is done. Uh, the last thing to do is to put the parachute in and prep it for flight. Uh, that's pretty easy to do, but uh, there you go. Look how nice this thing looks. You're going to really like this rocket kit. I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light and may the skies be blue. May all your rockets fly straight and true.